Check out my pajamas, by the way. Obviously wearing pajamas. I got these from my friend from Lozenza. They're like silk and leopard, and I love them. Okay, sorry, I don't even remember if I told you what this video is. Um, it's going to be a little mini haul. I went to Lush today, um, and then I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday, so I just want to show you guys what I picked up. It's not a lot, but just thought I would share. So I'll start with Lush, and this first one I actually didn't get today. I went to Lush a couple days ago, um, so I've used it once, and it is a floating island bath melt. So I just used a small chunk of it. It was like that. Mm, and it smells like vanilla and... What is it? It actually... Oh, I think I looked at it online. It said it was vanilla and... I don't know. Anyways, it smells kind of like vanilla or something. And it makes your bath water super soft. Like it feels like silk water. But I didn't use very much. I think you should probably use like half of this to get a good... Um, to get like good use out of it. Maybe three. I'd say you can get two or three uses out of this. I'm gonna have to like keep chopping up this video because like my drains, what they're called, like the drain pipes, the drainage pipes in my house are so loud in this bathroom. Like can you hear them? Like it's being super quiet right now but it gets, I don't know if it's from outside or if it's just from like someone having a shower or something. But anyways, it gets freaking loud. Um, I'll continue on now. So the second thing I got from Lush was a bath bomb, and these are just a one-time use. This is another like vanilla scented one. Vanilla is my favorite. Um, so these ones like you just drop in your water and they fizz. This one was like four something. Um, the last one was seven something. Let's see what this is called. This one is called a butterball. I think that's kind of cute. And it smells amazing. Um, so yeah, just one time use, but then they're cheaper and they're cool because they fizz. So I got one of those. And then the last thing I got from Lush, um, I bought before and I loved it. And oh no, never mind. I thought I got the comforter, but I didn't. Okay, this is a another bath melt. I didn't buy any bubble bars. I thought I thought I bought a bubble bar, but this one smells. Incredible. It smells called. Okay, whoa. I don't even know where I'm going with any of these thoughts. This is a Yuzo or Yu, Yuzu. Yuzu and Coco Bubble Rune. See, it kind of looks like a macaroon. So, I don't know. That's cute. It's really fruity, peachy. What the frick is Yuzu? Is that something? that I don't know about. Is that some sort of fruit? I don't know, but it smells really fruity, peachy. <laughs> I don't know. Just a really fruity bubble rune or whatever it's called. So that's what I got at Lush. Da, da, da. Thumbs up for Lush. Best store ever. Okay. I never used to have baths, but now I am obsessed with baths and I have them all the time. So I always have to have bubble bars, bath melts. I ran out of my bubble bath, but I don't know. These are so much better than like getting a jug or a jar or container of bubble bath. I don't know. I like them so much better. Okay. And then I'll show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. And usually when I go there, they always have like the buy two or buy three, get two free, whatever. I don't know, but like lotions and body sprays and body washes. I have so much of that stuff. Like, I don't think you can ever have enough. I freaking love it. But I decided to go with the True Blue line because I never buy any of the True Blue stuff. It's kind of like, it usually has its own little wall and it's more expensive. Uh, it's more like luxury stuff, I guess. Um, but they had a deal on. It was buy two, get two free. So, I got a bunch of stuff from their line, and I haven't even looked at this stuff before. Like, I never really check out the True Blue one, and they have a lot of stuff, like, that I didn't think. Like, I thought they just have more, like, lotions and body washes and stuff, but some of this stuff is different. So, um, the first thing I got is the Shea Butter Super Rich Shower Cream, and I have used this. It smells amazing. 
and it's really, really like, I wish you could feel this. It's really like silky. Um, and it does lather really well, so I use it with um, one of those like spongy, not spongy. What are these things called? Shower, it's not a sponge. I'm drawing a blank. I always draw a blank on something. What is this called? Okay, but yeah, it lathers really good in that thing. And then the second thing I got is this Silky Smooth Shave Cream, and this is also shea butter. Um, I haven't tried this yet. Silky Smooth Shave Cream, and then it says Shave the Day. And it does not smell like the shower cream, but it smells really good still. Okay, third thing I got is the Aloe Vera After Sun Moisturizer. Hold it right there. What's with all these little clever lines? And if you are familiar with the Satsuma body butter or just the Satsuma line in general from Body Shop, that is what this smells like. It smells like that, but it's less... You know, it smells a little bit sweeter than the Body Shop one. I like it better than the Body Shop Satsuma smell. Um, yeah, so this is for after you tan. Once you achieve the perfect tan, you'll of course want to keep your pasty pale friends jealous as long as possible. And then it says there's... Contains antioxidant vitamin C and E. Just soothe while moisturizing. Aloe vera keeps calm. Use even when you're not in the sun to keep skin moisturized and glowing. So I haven't used this yet, but, um, yeah. If I want to keep my tan, I'll use this stuff. And then the last thing I got is the Shea Cashmere Dry Shampoo. And I've been meaning to pick up a dry shampoo for forever. And I have not tried any dry shampoos. Like, this is the first one I will try. I haven't even tried this one yet, but, um... I sprayed it on my hand in the store because I wanted to see what it smelled like. <laughs> and it smells like alcohol at first. But... I think it's an either like, you love it or hate it smell. I wasn't really sure at first. But after it dries and doesn't smell like alcohol anymore, I actually really like how it smells. It actually is a pretty strong scent. So I don't know. I haven't tried it in my hair yet, but... It might leave a really strong smell in your hair, which could be good if you like it. Could be bad if you really don't like it. So um, I would recommend smelling this in the store before you buy it, just in case you really don't like the smell. So that's everything I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the haul, and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.